Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, you're here with Juzzy and this is an unbox of a new part for my Suzuki GSX S750. So you probably would have seen on my Instagram posts that I have been ordering some parts from America and they do take a little bit of time, but this one wasn't surprisingly too bad. What I've got today here is a package from Carbon Fiber Racing. It's come from the United States. Here is their website. Um, I've actually purchased a product from this company before um, off eBay or at least a person that was selling on behalf of them and it was a part for my Evo 10. Um, so I know that their products are really good quality, genuine carbon fiber and different to a hydro dipped uh, part that you buy basically off eBay, Amazon or AE. In this package today, um, I just wanted to talk about um, this company. As you can see, they sell a number of parts for the Suzuki GSX S750. Um, pretty much all the parts that you'd see um, online. Now this particular part, I tried to buy it as um, a hydro dipped part from AE, um, which is pretty much a dipped part of the Motozan um, plastic optional aftermarket um, or replacement OEM fenders that you can buy to all the fairings. But um, it just simply didn't exist. And so I had two sellers say, would I be prepared to wait six weeks for it to be manufactured? And obviously I was not. So I had a look on Google and of course, I, this site was one of the first ones that came up. They're a very popular um, resource for buying parts for this bike. They've got pretty much everything you can imagine. And so the part I'm looking at here is the rear hugger. So this basically is a part that um, is massive on the bike. It tidies up the rear end um, really nicely. It costs $193 American. So to give you an idea of how much it costs to ship stuff to Australia, it costs just nearly 50 American dollars to get it sent to me in Australia. And that in Australia costs $390 to be shipped to me in Australia. So I paid for that part on the 2nd of March and it's arrived today on the 15th of March. So that's really good um, for an American service. Most things take three to four weeks, but this is a rather large box. It's got fragile all over it. I haven't opened it as you can see. I like to give people an idea of how their package is gonna turn up. And that's obviously not carbon fiber racing, but it's the mail process that they choose. So even they, when they see this video, or other people's videos can get an idea of what their packages are like when they turn up. Now when I have a look at the bottom side of this box, I can see that the box has been opened. So someone has actually cut this open at some stage. Now when this arrives to the customer, usually when it's been opened, there is a sticker on there saying that it has been opened by customs. Now this one has not, there is no sticker anywhere on the box. And so I pray that no one has tampered with it and that it has arrived to me without any damage. So you can see here, it's open everywhere. Someone's put some plastic tape around this way to try and seal it. So that is definitely a sign that someone has opened it. I'm 
Rice Wizzy 21. We came from the bottom, man, his shit came from the dirt. I ain't need no label, 100,000 to make it work. They say that I'm the demon child, but I'm really not from Earth. Yeah. Bad love, bad love, bad love, bad love, bad love. Okay guys, so it is a couple of days later and I have made my way into the garage. It's the weekend now. And as you can see now, I've got um, the part here on the floor. I've actually ceramic coated it twice and I've just let it um, sit resting for a couple of days. So that's nice and clean. And here we are in the garage. So you, have, you guys haven't seen me in here for a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, the bike... I took it out once for a social ride of my friends and honestly it's just been raining, continuously raining. So yeah, haven't been riding a bike to get to work. Okay, so what we've got here is the factory hugger. And if you have a look at this part, we can see that there is one, two, three, four, five that we need to look at getting off so <clears throat> to do this job i've got a size 10 socket a phillips head for the other side and just a long narrow flat head to undo again the other side so let's get it done Okay, so there are the first two bolts, one and one. On this inner side, there looks to be two rivets here, which are just sort of behind where the factory decal is, or at least on the bikes that come to Australia. So, moving over to the other side. Just bringing you guys down here, and just in here on the front right side there is a um, what looks to be one of those push button clips similar sort of design to what you see um, for the headlight I've pushed that down and then the part just comes straight up so yes it is just one of those um, push button clips I'll just show you here so I just pushed in the center it pushed that out and then I just simply raised raised the plastic piece and it was off now along here you've got cabling that I'm just going to separate whilst it's kind of easy now this clip here I'm going to need pliers to squeeze it on the back all right so I squeeze it from this side and then just use my left thumb to push it out so that's out so now I can move that up and I can see that the um, Phillips head screwdriver is acceptable. It's pretty tight. I'm just worried about that one rounding out. It's going to put some force on it whilst I drive it. Good, straight out. Didn't seem to um, like wanting to come out. It's a collared Phillips head. That's interesting. Okay. So now that that's off. So now that that's off, I'm just going to remove that part here. So I've got them side by side now. So you can see, um, I can tell you that plastic bit feels pretty light, but let's get the scales out. The home scales, AKA nothing professional, but let's just check what the weight difference is. My phone weighs 
247 grams. There we go. So 247, and that's coming up at 592. And that's 505. So around about 85 grams of weight saving. So if you're one of those guys that are on the group saying get genuine carbon fiber because it's so worth it, that is one of the largest carbon fiber pieces you can buy for the bike and it saved 80 grams. So it's actually not correct, but it does look good and you just have to weigh up. Do you think that that's really worth getting a carbon fiber racing part versus a hydro gypped plastic part to save yourself 80 grams? I would say it's not. Place that over. I think to stop it from moving around, etc. Just gonna hand tighten these bolts back in. Okay, so here we are on the other side. Just gonna place that underneath and then get these cables up tucked in as they were from factory. Because this part's carbon fiber, um, it's not pliable like the factory plastic. So, yeah. So yeah. So when you when you go to bend this. Um, cable which holds the fluid to the rear brake assembly you want to um, just be careful when you push it back in because you don't want to snap the carbon fiber okay so it took a couple of times to get that um, in because the collar that's at the front makes the um, yeah, it's just a it's just a slight bit tight to get through. It's no no huge issue. So hopefully you guys can see now. I'm looking across to the front right side now, and I'm just placing that plastic push-in clip to um, that hole. There you go. It's got to push that through. There you go, you heard that click. This is not gonna be under tight tension. I'm actually just going to put some Loctite on this bolt because I can't ram it in. I can't have it tight to pretty much any Newton meter strength. So this is one of the downsides of having a carbon fiber part or a fiberglass part. Okay, so out with the good old Loctite. You don't have to put a lot on. So I'm going to put this on low speed just to wind it in. And that's enough. I'll wind this one out. Okay, so I've just got that much in there. It's not a lot, just enough to go around basically. Okay, just got one of these. So I can tighten that a little bit without having to 
worry about snapping or cracking the carbon fiber and I think that's pretty reasonable okay guys so here we are so the carbon fiber racing rear hugger approximately three hundred dollars Australian delivered to Australia um, very easy just in case you're wondering there's two rivets here actually so these two rivets ah, so these two rivets are kind of like a guard to prevent it's a metal bracket okay so that metal bracket is meant to go on the inside here you can put it there now I don't have a rivet gun so I could put a bolt and screw there so for plastic because this is pliable I guess over time that may drop a little bit I don't think it would really but it is there I guess it's there I guess if you've got a pin and they go to step on this so you've got a passenger that might step on it but I don't so I don't think I'm going to actually install it on this side I can't ever imagine putting my foot there I'm certainly not doing any stunts or anything where I'd be putting my feet here so yeah I'm not actually going to install that part but just so that you're aware if you're wanting to you could drill out or just get a rivet puller remove that and then put that bracket on so yeah I don't actually have that maybe that's a new tool that I might consider buying um, but I've never used one in my life so yeah what do you think about this look looks pretty cool it's got about the same height maybe even a tiny bit higher actually let's see yeah it's perfectly centered so in terms of um, matching it's yeah pretty good Nick it's not a hundred percent the same but I think that if I was able to find a hydro dipped part of the plastic part for significantly cheaper which is often like you know fifty a hundred dollars cheaper I might have gone with that so just in case you're wondering okay so my next video uh, will more than likely be of the lowering but what I'll just do now is just give you a quick update on some of the mods I've done since and they're just aesthetic ones so I'll have a link to all the parts in the video description below like I always do so I was actually thinking that I'd like to get something to blacken out this area because it's got a huge chrome pipe here which is obviously good quality but I just wanted to get something dark to black it out so I went on WeBike and I tried to search under Yoshimura R11 to try and find a carbon heat guard so they do make one for some bikes but they don't make it for this bike then I went to all the cheapy sites and I ended up just finding this non-genuine um, carbon cover it even came with a little Yoshimura badge on it so I basically ceramic coated it heated up the sticker placed it on and the way they attach is just via some clamps so it comes with a clamp that goes around the exhaust and then they've spot welded a tiny little nut to the center of the clamp so that you can feed this carbon cover through don't know if you can see it there it's just in there and then it just bolts on and so I just lose used a dab of Loctite to make sure that it was in place um, it wasn't very much I think it was about 30 bucks and I think if you buy a genuine Yoshi one on the Wii bike site it was way more it was probably about $110 or so and I didn't even know if it was gonna work because really it's just you know used to cover a straight part if you go to a cheapy sites you can buy one that's got a bit of a bend I don't know if I'll buy that though I think it just looks might be just alright just looking at it like that I did post a picture on my Instagram of some rim stickers that I'd purchased and um, when I purchased them 
um, they weren't actually available in black. So I was looking all over the place for black stickers to just be a contrast to what people who normally have the black wheels do. They normally put a blue sticker on this bike. I just wanted it to be completely the opposite and make it black. But when they made it, the guy sent it to me and it actually had all this gray background and then it had this um, black part there. So I posted one picture on it. If you're interested in looking, you can see it on tweet GSX as one word on Instagram, but wasn't really feeling it. So after I took it out for a ride and took some photos, I ended up coming back. And whilst the sticker was on the wheel, I just peeled it back a bit and just cut where the end of the, the black stripes were. So all this area was gray and it said GSX S750, something like that. And with this sticker kit, it came with some GSX S750 big letters in black, but the, the angle or whatever it is um, didn't actually sit right for the wheel. So it was actually like it was a writing that was meant to go on here, but it was about this big. It certainly couldn't go on a tire and there was nowhere near enough room for it to go on the wheel. So yeah, that was just a dud, but I did get the stripes out of it. So I do have some black to it. So basically on this side, I've got it one and two, so same for the rear wheel. But on this side, I kept the decal on, but I tried trimming it so that I had four. So you can see here. So this is with the light on. I'll just turn on my turn off my light. See if it um, stops the re reflectivity. But just gives you an idea that it, it does give you some reflection at night time. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just getting you some last filming shots in case I'm not covering something for you guys. If I'm missing anything and you want to know, just send me a message in the comments and um, I'll answer anything that you need to know. I might actually take that screw out and just put a Loctite on it actually. It didn't actually have it there, but because I can't ram that one down, so I'll do that after this video. So yeah, we'll put a dab of Loctite there. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next time.